I'm standing behind the pulpit of the cathedral. Another word for pulpit is ambo. And with the altar, it's the other principal piece of furniture in any church. And the pulpit is really where the word of God is proclaimed. So the lectors stand here and proclaim the scriptures. The deacon or priest reads the gospel and the homily is preached. So the pulpit really represents the power of God's word speaking to us. How important that at Mass the Word is proclaimed, that it's spoken. It's important for us to read the Bible at home, but imagine if at Mass, instead of actually proclaiming the readings out loud, we just said, okay, everybody just open your Bible and read it quietly for five minutes. Um, there's a difference in proclaiming the Word, in hearing the Word, in allowing that Word to resonate in us. And so we ponder the importance of the scriptures as the foundation of our experience of Christ. St. Jerome famously said, ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. Conversely, knowledge of the scriptures is, is coming to know the Lord Jesus. So pray for the lectors and those who preach the word of God. Pray for our priests and deacons. Pray for those who are privileged to proclaim that word to our people. Proclaim that word yourself by the way you live and how you speak. When we think of the beauty of God's word, especially in this Advent season, we see that all the longings of Israel and all the promises of God reach their completion in the Christ event. So just as the altar represents Christ, in a sense, the, the ambo represents the voice of Jesus I'm speaking to his people uh, through time and space.